beauties of Scotland linger long in the mind's eye. The early morning mists filtering through the hills, blue with heather. The crystal waters of the burns sparkling in the northern sun. The silver glimpse of salmon, tantalizing the patient angler. And the glance of firelight, the gleam of whiskey captured in the brilliance of Edinburgh crystal glass. Edinburgh Crystal reflects a special spirit of Scotland's proud and ancient heritage, tracing its history back to the 1600s, when glass was made in the heart of Scotland's thriving port of Leith. During the turbulent years of the Jacobite rebellions, Scottish glassmakers were developing an individual style of work, passing their expertise from generation to generation. The Victorian factory, however, has now been superseded by a purpose-built plant at Penny Cook, situated just 10 miles south of the city, near the beautiful Pentland Hills. Here, in an efficient and modern environment, the ancient art of glassmaking is pursued by craftsmen of the present day. The tools and techniques of glassmaking at Edinburgh Crystal have changed little in centuries. The craftsmen are still known by their traditional names and work in small teams. Four men form a wine glass team. First, the blower prepares the molten glass for the bowl. He blows the bowl of the wine glass in a mould attached to a simple machine known as a mechanical boy. The servitor now takes over and, assisted by the bit gatherer, casts on glass for the stem. To shape this, he uses a simple tool. Another piece of molten glass is cast on for the foot, which he shapes with the help of a foot board. This is traditionally made of pear wood, the most suitable kind to provide a fine surface finish. Having checked the wine glass for size, the servitor carefully detaches it from the blow iron before it is collected by the taker in, who stores the glass for cooling. Glass is one of the most difficult materials to fashion into shape. Extremely hot and molten when it leaves the furnace, it immediately begins to cool and change its consistency. It requires a team of five men to produce this thistle jug at a rate of about a dozen per hour. The glass must be reheated several times during its progress in miniature furnaces called glory holes. The craftsmen learn to sense the subtle changes in the glass and handle the heavy substance with apparent ease. Now the bowl and foot are formed. The handle comes next. This demands swift craftsmanship and perfect timing. Again, the jug is reheated in the glory hole while the bit gatherer brings glass for the handle. While he marvels this glass, the senior member of the team deftly adds the lip and completes the distinctive thistle shape. Finally, he adds the handle. Plain glass is now ready for decoration, cutting and polishing, bringing out the sparkle and splendor of the crystal. Painted guidelines help the cutter in his difficult task. Glass at Edinburgh Crystal is still cut as it was in Roman times, 
by pressing the article against the edge of a revolving wheel. Today, diamond impregnated metal wheels driven by electric power enable the skillful cutter to reach new standards of delicacy and precision in his work. All the care and skill that has gone into making the blank glass up to this point rests in the glass cutter's hands. A little too much pressure, the slightest slip of the wrist, and the whole piece may be ruined. When cutting is complete, the sparkle is restored by acid polishing. Dipping the article into a mixture of concentrated acids for a short period will dissolve away a minute layer of glass, leaving the cuts clean and smooth to the touch. The Edinburgh Crystal Acid Polishing process preserves the depths and angles of the cuts, enabling the carefully designed facets to enhance the natural brilliance of the glass. The thistle design combines cutting with engraving, an ancient art which still thrives at Edinburgh Crystal. In the hands of the engraver, tiny copper wheels fed with emery powder and oil carve intricate patterns on the glass, flowers, figures, coats of arms and fine lettering. This highly skilled and delicate craft is used to great effect on many Edinburgh Crystal limited edition pieces, which are greatly prized as collector's items. Finally, the finished glassware is subjected to a searching inspection. The examiner looks for faults that might impair the soundness or appearance of the glass. However, she is not looking for strict uniformity. Unlike machine-made glass, no two pieces of handmade crystal are exactly alike. Subtle differences in shape, size and decoration are the hallmarks of the craftsman's individual skill and make each piece original and unique. There is a fascination in this ancient craft that attracts thousands of visitors to Edinburgh Crystal from all over the world. They come to watch some of the finest crystal in the world being made and gain a deeper appreciation of the unique qualities of the finished glass. Glassware like this has continued to enhance the fine reputation that Edinburgh Crystal has enjoyed for many years. In its eloquence of line and gleaming brilliance, Edinburgh Crystal Glass reflects the special spirit of Scotland. Precious Crystal, a timeless reflection of Scotland's rich and ancient heritage. <laughs>